We're gonna talk about the thing that you missed in your mobility programming, the ankle. The ankle can be responsible for your lower back pain, knee pain, even your shoulders being out of alignment. Today, we're gonna to show you how to diagnose it and how to fix it. First test, if you're tight in the hips and as you squat, you lean forward, we gotta see if it's an ankle issue or a hip issue. All you have to do is get some books, put your heels on top of the books, and then squat again. If your squat improves and you don't lean forward as much and you can squat deeper, you have an ankle issue just like 95% of the people we've worked with. Next, we know that you have an ankle issue. Where is it coming from? The ankle is very complex. One of the things could be just a really tight calf and Achilles tendon. This tendon in the back could be so tight that it won't allow the shin to move forward. The next thing it could be is the tib and fib might not rotate correctly. Those have to rotate out as you squat to create space for your hips. Or you could have an impingement here with the tibia and the talus, and that could be binding up. We're gonna figure that out right now with this quick test. To test, we're gonna do an ankle mobilizer test. You're gonna put your foot about a foot away from the wall and drive your knee over the toe as far as it'll go. Now, if you feel all the tension here in the back, that means that your calf and Achilles are tight. If you feel any tension in the front, like an impingement, that means you have an impingement. And usually with this, I like to think if there is any kind of impingement at all, that you have a blockage in the front of your ankle. So if you have a blockage in the front of the ankle, we have to stretch this part out and open up the area between the two joints. You're gonna do this. Put some padding under the front of your knees that'll lift them up and create a better angle for you. And then you're gonna put your toes together like you're forming a little heart. From here, you're just gonna drop your hips back and forth to put pressure on the ankle joints themselves. If you want to, you can advance it with your arms up, nice and slow and stretch up the front of your ankles. Next, we're gonna retest that ankle mobilizer and make sure that the knee is going over the toes smoothly. Then we can move on to the next one and really stretch out the Achilles tendon. Now we're gonna do a calf raise, hold and squeeze our calves for five seconds, and then we're gonna stretch afterwards. This releases your sympathetic nerve system and allows you to lengthen tissue. If you want to, you can perform it with one leg and get an even better stretch. Lastly, retest. Make sure that your squat felt just like it did with the books underneath your heels. Then you know you fixed your ankle problem, you're able to use your glutes and hamstrings more, the knee pain, the lower back pain, and everything else that can get caused from your ankles being off should feel better now.